15 minutes of what I learned in business management. Number one, teamwork. In business management, we have so much teamwork. We have a lot of good projects. We work together. We create a project. And we move teams. We change teams. That's what I meant by that. And just working with different people kind of taught me some things. Um, I definitely found that I like being a team leader more because everything seems to be done on time. Oh, maybe I'm just being a little cocky. Um, some other things that I learned in business management. Would be leadership. I'm gonna say this. Because of the group projects, um, I don't know. I just felt like when I was there, I, uh, I enjoyed it more. The project, okay. I don't know. I just gotta be in control or something. I just like that more. Oh, well. I mean, I guess in a way, it's not trying to be a punk or anything, but I had to control people. Anyway, mm -hmm. I want to say control. I'd say more of communicate and how to lead them and lead them so we get the project done. That's a good one. Um, another thing, the class always started at 8, which really isn't that early, but Working full time and then going to school, taking 17 credits, kicks your butt a little bit. So, waking up at, you know, before 7 30 to get to school, I have to leave at 7 30 to get about. And I don't know, something tells me that it's made me a better person like I get up before 8 every day easily like I just naturally wake up even if I'm like didn't go to bed till 2 um not tired and groggy all day So yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, oh, by the way, I'm eating dynamite sticks. And they're super hot. My mouth is on fire right now. I'm actually going to pause the video right now and get some water and milk. <coughs> Alright, sorry about that. I'm back. There's no milk, so I resorted to ice cream. Who cares? This is my last final. And then I have break. So that's awesome. Anyways, where was I at? Um, something about waking up. Oh yeah, wait. Uh, having class at eight. I think you should keep having class at eight. But tell me, responsibility. Don't say. That's a big one. For me, anyway. But, like, I've. All my life, like, I've woken up before 8. You know, I grew up on a ranch. Like, it was earlier than that. But, 
the difference was is now that I was going to school full time and working a full time job. And then chasing cheeky mamas around till who knows what time in the morning, you know. Never really had to do that before. And so like you get tired. You get stressed out a little bit. And physically tired, like you don't want to move kind of tired. But this class told me that it worked hard. Which which is good. I like that. I like that in the class. Um some other things that I learned. Uh oh! APA format. I've never even heard of APA format. So, thank you for that, honestly. Way better. MLA sucks. Um. Hmm. This ice cream is so good. It's. Artesian. Vanilla bean. I, I usually like to put ice cream in my milk and it's like cereal in a way. Mm, so good. Um, some other things that I learned were uh, not to give up. I feel like a lot of kids gave up because they dropped out of class. And, you know, sometimes I thought about it. And now I don't have the best grade either. If I can at least get like what, 100 or 300 on the final, I can pass the class. Marketing class though, I, I never quit. I just, I just didn't do things. That kind of stuff. Well, we're not here for that. We're here for small business. Business one or two or something. That's what we're here for. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take another pause right here and. Anyways, I'm pausing right here. I'm gonna put this away. And I'll be right back. I'll be right back with you. I'll be right back. Oh, nope. sorry, I had to make a run to my room to grab something. I'll be right back. <coughs> sorry, I'm back. Um, before we get started, actually, I've already started. Um, now that I'm back, I was thinking, what else did I learn in this class? And, you know, that's a good question. And I was thinking about it, I was like, 
small business, you know, a business has to do with management. I'm like, what even is management? I'm like, that's one thing I learned in class. And it's mind boggling because management is just getting work done through others, which is wild. I tell you what, it is wild up in here. Um, some other things. Hold on, let me back off. But I would say, uh, that I learned in class would be, ow, sorry. That there, there's different type of managers. I never, you know, to me when I hear manager, I just hear, think of manager. But there's like, like four or five different types of managers, like top line managers. Um, I have a list actually written down right here. Um, top managers, middle managers, first line managers, and to me that's wild. Like, I would never know that. Class. So. Um, some other things I learned, how to write a resume. I never did know how to write a resume until now. So I'm going to thank you for that. Even though I didn't get a good grade on my resume, I at least have a better idea of what's going on. Uh, I plan on getting a new job soon. I just have to get a new social security card and I'm all set. Uh, so thank you for that. I actually appreciate learning that. It wasn't really weird because... Hold on. I'm going to take it. This is different. Let me... Let me just explain this. Um... So I hate... I hate the word... I hate the word small. You know, like, small business. I don't like that. I want big business. I'm going to go on to be a millionaire, and I'm going to buy a big ranch with a lake on it, so big that I can stick a boat in it, go boating with my family, with my friends, and party whenever, do whatever I want on my ranch. And when I said that for this class, I was like, small business management, like, I don't want a small business, I want a big business. And to me, with my experience, like, I've, I've, have, they're not businesses, I just sold things. Like, uh, Tech Tech little skateboards that you play with your fingers, um, fidget spinners, I sold hoodies, I just sold all sorts of things. And, those are like, small businesses in a way, you know, and I never liked that. And I figured out my problem in this class. I figured out, to dream big, start small. I keep hearing noises. Um, dream big, start small. And sorry. Um, dream big, start small. And I feel I, I think that's my problem. And that's one thing I learned in this class. Um, I think that's important. Because uh, a lot of people do that, but like I don't think like I want. I just want to go big. And you can't though, because you if you well you can. You just gotta start small. Dream big, start small. Quoted by Wesley Blakely. Um, some other things that I learned. Good question. Um, good question. Um, no, I know that like I feel like I should be just spouting things off. Things that I learned. 
and easily because I did learn a lot in this class, but I just can't think of them, you know? So, some. Ah, fuck! Hold on. Oh, so. I've written down things I learned, so when I make this video, it's a little easier. But obviously, I'm having troubles already. But organization. I used to be so unorganized. So unorganized. And this class taught me to be organized, including my other, my marketing class, too. But organization is key. Uh, every day, my room is clean now. I make my bed. I shower every morning, I shower every night, or at least I only shower once a day. Um, deodorant every day, walls. Um, and I used to not be like that. I used to not clean my room. Uh, I used to not make my bed. Ever. Like, never would make my bed. Like, maybe once every six months. You know, back in high school and stuff. But now, every day, my bed is made. Every day, I make sure my room is clean. And my backpack is organized. I know where my stuff is at. I have all my financial stuff figured out. And that has to take a little bit to my ag, ag management class. Because we use uh, Excel a lot. And it kind of taught me some things. But we also use Excel in your class. Which I like. I kind of like that. For some reason. You wouldn't think... I would, but I do. I don't know why. Um, some other things that I learned. You know, there's thousands of things, you know, thousands of things. I've said APA, right? Yeah. Um, organization. That's the key thing. Key thing. Um, How to be creative. I just thought of it. This is all on my list. Um, your class taught me how to be creative. And how to be creative fast. Like, when we did a toilet paper deal, where we uh, talked about how to sell, how to market toilet paper, that gave me so many ideas. I honestly kind of want to start a toilet paper company. I want to do that monthly subscription like the Dollar Shave Club does and sell toilet paper like that. You can customize the toilet paper like you want one or two plus, or you want this softness, or you want this much toilet paper, or uh, you want this many rolls a month because you have this many people in your family. And I feel like I could do that cheaper than what the average American spends a month on toilet paper, and you can have a monthly subscription of it sending to your door, so you don't even have to go anywhere to go pick up the toilet paper, saving you even more money with steel. Um, I feel, I don't know, that just keeps me so hyped. I think I'm going to do it. I've been thinking a lot about it, and maybe I'll make a marketing plan and show you, and maybe you'll give me extra credit or something. I don't know. Um, some other things. Which is, good question. Other things that I learned. Um, Being motivated. Being motivated is super important. I was not motivated. Like, I'd be motivated in class, but outside of class, I would never be motivated. And I'm still trying to be better at that. But, in class, I'd get so motivated. I'd get so hyped. I was working with my teammates. I had so much fun. Team projects were awesome. But, uh, staying motivated is key. And I want to get better at that. Some other things um, that I never used in your class, but I want to start using is goal setting, which we learn in our textbook. And that's just, you know, setting your goals. And I, I have goal set. But they're big, big goals. And 
setting goals like daily, like, I don't know, for example, you're gonna do this, this, and this, like, you're gonna feed your dog at the goal. Um, <laughs> you should always feed your dog. Um, you're gonna feed your kid or something. I don't know. You're gonna do your homework. There we go. Uh, like the quizzes that we have, I definitely think quizzes instead of doing typing the homework more. Quizzes are way faster than last time, and that's what I like. I like to save time, because sometimes I don't have a lot of time. Which, whatever. Stay bu- Ooh! That's another thing I learned. Stay busy. Always stay busy. Like, from sun up to sun down, you're working. Even until dark, you're working. Uh, if you're chasing cheeky moments, doing homework, or you're in class, or you're just working, stay busy. There shouldn't be no one sitting around watching YouTube videos, which, at the beginning of the semester, that was me. I was just, like, doing nothing. Wouldn't do homework, watching videos, watching Netflix and stuff. And, um... Uh, Then, I would say a lot since November, the start of November, I keep myself busy. Wake up, busy. Afternoon, I'm busy. Noon, busy. Mornings, I'm busy. It's dusk, I'm busy. Doing homework, chasing cheeky mamas, working, um, thinking of ideas, some business ideas, uh, working with cattle, trying to buy cattle, um, cooking, driving around, just stay busy, there shouldn't be no sitting around in your house and doing nothing, I feel like this makes you a better person, and makes you work harder, you're not so tired all the time, a lot of people, I see a lot of college kids, they're tired, like mentally tired and physically tired, and it's because what they do is they go to class, they sleep all day, maybe do some homework, they sleep, they don't do much, like, yeah, they work once in a while, but they're not staying busy constantly, so they're maybe doing, let's say, six hours of a day actually physically moving, and actually doing something, and that's huge, well, that's not enough, but that's why they're so tired and groggy. And that's a thing I learned in your class. One other thing, to wrap this all up, I hope, yeah, this will wrap this up. Dress up. I know I didn't dress up for this, but I mean, I'm home. It's 8.33. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back out tonight and chase some ladies and stuff, but you know what, I see a lot of these kids, they're like in pajamas going to school. Not in this class, but kids walk around campus, they're like in pajamas, like come on dude. And I remember like second day of class, first day of class, you said, dress up, so no pajamas. And I've never been that person, but I've thought about it and like, I don't actually dress myself up nicely, and I didn't always do it, but when I did, I felt like a better person, I felt ready to go, I felt important for some reason, um, I felt motivated, really motivated, I, when I was dressed up nicely, like, I wanted to get stuff done, for some reason, because I felt like I needed to, because I'm dressed nicely, like, I'm a busy person. Cause I'm just nice, but I don't know. So that's another thing. Um, thank you. I appreciate this class. I had a lot of fun times. Um, I wish I would have done better in the marketing class. I'm not going to make a video for that because I filmed it already. So there's no point. I already checked. Even if I got a 300, 350, or 350.
I won't pass the class. But that's not why I'm taking these classes. I'm not taking these classes so I can say, oh, I took the marketing class at CSI. Hire me. No, I'm taking these classes to better myself so I can be a better person. That's why I'm going to college. I want to. I want to be smarter. Cause I don't want to work for anybody. I want to work for myself. I want to have people work for me. And that's why I'm going to college. That's why I'm learning. That's why I'm in this class. Otherwise, I'll be working. And I don't know, honestly. That's a good question. I have to think on that some more. Maybe I'll get back with that. With you on that. Anyway, have a good one. Uh, I'd probably see you in some other classes. I don't think this coming semester, but maybe next year or uh, this coming fall semester. Uh, we'll see. Mm, thank you. Bye.